UK Parliament prepares to discuss adoption, repatriation of Namdi Kano from Kenya to Nigeria. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time I'm reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's so good to have you guys back here again. And thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you. Really appreciate you. Do not take your support for granted. Yes, guys, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. This one has just dropped. We know um, after Nam Dikano was uh, rearrested, he wrote to the British High Commission in Abuja. We know he's a British citizen and he made some demands that he should be allowed to see his lawyers. He should be allowed to um, um, see his family members. His family members should um, be able to see him. You know, like the first time when he was um, held, when he was arrested in 2017, he was denied all of those. Um, interestingly, the report we're getting right now is that the United Kingdom's um, Parliament, they are preparing to discuss everything that transpired uh, from the adoption and the repatriation of Anam Dekano from Kenya to Nigeria. We know up till now, Kenyan president is still denying that he has no hand. He doesn't even have knowledge that Nam Dikano was in their soil, was in Kenya. You can imagine. And we know we've been hearing and there are speculations going around that there was a, a uh, an agreement that was reached. There was a treaty that was reached between Nigerian government and Kenyan government for them to sell out Nam Dikano to them. Anyway, the United Kingdom, they've stepped in and talks are about to um, uh, commence into everything going on with Namdi Kano. Right now, President Mohamed Buhari does not have it all. He knows very well that um, a lot of persons are interested, are watching closely what is happening to Namdi Kano. You know, he has been told, he has been warned that let nothing happen to Namdi Kano, let nothing happen to him in detention. Well, we'll bring you all of the details in a moment, guys, what the United Kingdom are planning. Before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. The United Kingdom Parliament is set to commence a debate on the adoption and repatriation of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, Nam Dekano, from Kenya to Nigeria. The British government had clarified that Nam Dekano, who was traveling with a British passport, was not arrested with it within its shores as controversies trailed the circumstances and when the separatist leader was repatriated from IPOB had accused the Buhari regime of adopting its leader in an East African country, a claim confirmed by Mr. Kanu's attorney, Ifanyi Ejiofo, who accused Kenya's special police force of arresting, detaining, and torturing him before he was later handed over to the Nigerian government. Meanwhile, Kenya High Commissioner to Nigeria, Wilfred Manchege, had refuted claims that Mr. Kanu was arrested in the country stating that it was not involved in the whole process. Mr. Machage described the claim as deliberately concocted to fuel antagonistic feelings in the minds of certain sessions of the Nigerian people against the people of Kenya. But the UK Parliament, in a parliamentary schedule seen by People's Gazette, was set aside a debate on Wednesday, July 7th, to discuss the British government's assessment of Kenya's role in Mr. Kanu's arrest. According to the document, Lord Alton of Liverpool will be raising the issue at the House of Lords and will query the government on the separatist leader's transfer to Nigeria. Lord Alton of Liverpool to ask Her Majesty's government what assessment they have made of one, the alleged role of the government of Kenya in the detention and alleged mistreatment of Nigerian activist Nam De Kanu. Two, the circumstances surrounding the transfer of Mr. Kanu to Nigeria against his will. And thirdly, of any assistance being provided to him by the High Commission in Abuja. HL 1665, the document read, Last week, the head of communications, British High Commission, in Abuja, Dean Hollock confirmed that the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office would provide consular assistance to Mr. Kanu. With regards to any questions about whether the British High Commission is providing assistance in the case, we can confirm that the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office stands ready to provide consular assistance, Mr. Hollock had said. Mr. Kanu, also a British national, was arrested by the Nigerian government last week and faces an 11-count charge of treason, 
treasonable felony, terrorism, and illegal possession of firearms, among others. So UK, um, they've decided because now the Kano is their citizen. Yes, um, they cannot just allow President Mohammed Buhari to do anything and just um, you know, in our country there is no fairness. You know, they're talking about fairness. They're talking about equity. They're talking about justice. Nothing of such ha uh, exists. See what they did to uh, um, Sunday Igbo. Sunday Igbo is also um, agitating um, for a Yoruba nation. They said they had um, reports that he had firearms. And they went to his, his property. They did not get a search warrant. They did not just go there to search. But they vandalized the whole place like criminals. Turned the place upside down. Destroyed things. Not just that. Killed. That is the worst The worst part of it. See the sort of government we have. That is why um, a, a lot of people have been lending their voice. That let nothing happen to Nam Dekanu. Nam Dekanu is not the problem of the country. He's not the one um, sending uh, um, people to, to attack or harass farmers. Fulani headsmen, they are the ones carrying out all of those activities. President Mohammed Buhari has not held any of them. Even Sheikh Gumi, calls have been going on that Sheikh Gumi needs to be arrested because he's the one that's been going to meet with bandits, discussing with them, going in and out, and all of that. President Mohammed Buhari has not made any of such move. What about Boko Haram and um, the kidnappers and all of that? Nothing of such. So the United Kingdom, they are set, they've um, decided that um, July 7th, they are going to sit and discuss uh, um, the, the, all of the circumstances that surrounded Nam Dekanu's adoption and his repatriation from Kenya. We know very well that um, Kenya government, they've denied, refuted claims that they had no hands, but um, they shouldn't worry. Evidences are all there. They are all just whatever they are hiding will come out. The British government, um, they want to get enough details all of the details and um, they want to um, know what uh, president Mohammed buhari is going to be doing to nam de kanu according to lord Alton of liverpool he's to ask um, her majesty the queen and um, of what assessment has been made of the alleged role in the kenya's government so kenya's government is going to be pulled out here they need they need they, there are questions they need to answer and all of the circumstances surrounding the transfer and um, the alleged torture and everything. And also whoever provided assistance to the, to the capture of Unam Dekanu and what um, assistance the High Commission will be giving Unam Dekanu. He's a British citizen. President Mohammed Buhari is in for it. He cannot have the final sale. He will not just do whatever he wants to do um, to Unam Dekanu. Well, we'll see how all of this plays out. Um, we'll bring you all of the details as soon as um, that um, sitting is held. Guys, please let your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I like, come your way again on more updates. Bye.